Today, we are going to be treating Pauline's acne scarring. Pauline has had a difficult journey with adult acne that's been going on for her for years, trying different medications and treatments, but nothing really worked for her. She came to see us in the clinic to see what we could do, and we used a combination of laser and medication, and we've managed to clear her acne for her which is fantastic, but it has left its marks. She has something called ice pick scarring, which are these almost little holes in the skin. The only way we can really get rid of them for her is to excise them surgically. That's what we're gonna do for her today. We're gonna begin with Pauline in the mirror to identify which of the individual ice picks cause her the most concern. We're going to inject a little bit of local anaesthetic to make the skin go numb. Stings a little bit, just like when you've been at the dentist. Then I'm using a little punch excision. We literally just core out that little scar and then just place a single interrupted stitch into each of the little holes that are left behind. And this means that when it heals, it's going to leave behind a little flat white scar as opposed to that indentation that we had before. These stitches are going to be in for the next five to seven days. During that time, we're going to give her a little bit of an antibiotic ointment to apply to that, just to reduce the chances of developing any wound infections. When she's healed from this, we are then going to be able to come back and do some more laser treatments, which will help to improve the quality of the scars that we create today. Acne scarring and acne treatment is always a long journey for the patient. But what we aim to do is achieve incremental improvements with subsequent treatments till we eventually hopefully get Pauline to a point where she can look in the mirror and not be distracted by memories of either her acne or the scarring that it left. Any questions or suggestions for future content, please pop them in the comments section and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.